Hey, thanks for tuning in <clears throat> to today's tutorial. Uh, we're going to cover how to make this stack text carving on a CNC. Uh, we're going to do the design through easel. All right, these uh, these circular boards you can buy at uh, your big box stores like Lowe's, Home Depot. Uh, this one is uh, 14 and a quarter wide, and um, it's only about I think eight or ten bucks. So you want to save a few dollars and make it look cool. That's the way I would go. All right, so let's get started. All right, so we're in easel. Uh, disregard the the size of the wood um, for the tutorial because in easel it does the lower left corner as the zero location. But since we're cutting a circle, um, it's kind of hard to find the lower left corner, so we're going to use center. All right, so first thing we're going to do is we're going to grab a circle design, and uh, this design I did it at 13 and a quarter by 13 and a quarter. All right, again, it doesn't matter where we are right now, we'll worry about that later. So we got our circle there. I like to do the depth right off the bat, which I am gonna, sorry, I'm gonna play with the thickness of the wood, three quarter inch. And I'm gonna carve it to just a little over an eighth of an inch in depth. We're gonna grab our text here, and we're gonna use the uh, Baskerville design. All right, so we got that there. Get that sized up. We get it to where we like the size. All right, so I'm not worried about any locations of the writing at this moment. So we'll do that. We'll grab another text, Baskerville. Just gonna use the letter R. Big R here, right around here. And we're gonna get one more Baskerville. Let's put the word the. Let's drag that up here and let's put that on an angle like that. All right, so now we've got the design. Uh, if we want to see this bigger, we can make this design longer. We want to, just for the purpose of being able to see the view. Now you can see it looks kind of weird, right? So, this is where you want to <clears throat> grab your circle first. Then we're going to right click it, send it to the back. Alright, that'll bring anything, any of these letters forward. So I want the Rizzo's design to be carved at nothing, zero. So if you notice, it goes to white. I also want the word the to be carved to zero depth. So now when it's carving the circle out, it'll go around all these letters. But you can notice this R still looks kind of funky, right? So I'm going to right click the R, or I'm going to click the R, and I want that to be carved. If you remember the circle we were doing at 1 eighth? So we're going to go just below 1 eighth, so about 0 0.07. But you can see it still looks kind of weird on the design, right? So we're going to click the R, right click it, we're going to send that to the back. Now all we see is the Rizzo's, so if I right click the circle again, send that to the back, now what you have is the circle in the back, the R's just ahead of it, and then you have the Rizzo's in another area there, right? So now you can see how the carve will look. But remember, we're gonna make our zero location uh, in the center of this piece. So what we wanna do is we're gonna click the circle first, go to shape, and we wanna look at the center of the circle. Now we know that this bottom left corner is zero. 
So if you change your x and y to 0, it's going to move all this stuff over, right? So now our circle, center of the circle, is at 0. Now I want my r to also be in the center of that circle. So all you got to do is change your x and y location to 0. So now we know that this r is right in the middle. Same thing with this one. So all your words you want to do individually. And then there should be another one here. This one, because it's not going to be in the center, we're just going to drag it down to the location. All right. Now we've got our whole art piece centered to zero. So all you would need to do on your board is find center of the board. Make that your zero location. Don't forget the zero um, in UGS if you're using that. And then the carving, when it is complete, will look just like this. All right, super simple. Um, you know, remember for future carves, if you're you want to find the center of a piece and you're using easel, this is how you would do it. All right, you want to find the center of that down in this corner, and then obviously we want to export that right to G code. So advanced generate G code, and then you would export it and then open it up from UGS and then you're done so hopefully uh, you learned something from this video and you can start ripping out some awesome custom designs for your customers or even for yourself alright thanks for watching if you have any uh, comments or suggestions for other designs please leave them in the comment description below and uh, I'll do my best to um, make some other tutorials for you.